What is up, YouTubers? It's Mushroom once again, and right now we have dun 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 the minifigures Legos minifigures series 11. This is my bump codes video, and I'm gonna give you guys the bump code, uh, I guess, key to find out what you want to get in the whole set, except for one. Because I forgot to grab one. So, anyways, out of all the 16, I got 15. And I will show you what the bump codes are, okay? So, uh, with a little bit of movie magic, all of a sudden, poof, everything will be created and set up. So, we'll be back in one sec. And poof! Like I said, we're back again. And here we have our... Um, 15 out of 16 my, uh, mini Lego Lego minifigs. So let me go ahead and give you the one by one. And uh, we'll do the bump codes and you guys will get a better idea of what's uh, what to look out for, right? So first up the bat, let's go with the Barbarian. Okay, I put them in order too. So here we go. The Barbarian's bump codes are kind of tricky, okay, because um, I found all my Barbarian uh, minifigures, none of them would cut right. So, basically there's two over here, one over here under the D, and then one to the left, um, my left, so, and here is the Barbarian. He's very cool. Two swords, dual wielding, and he's uh, pretty mean. Alright. Um, he's number one. Remember, bump codes right there. Okay? So put that over there. <clears throat> Second one in line, which is my favorite, and probably one of the more uh, elaborate, is the Scarecrow. Now, Scarecrow to me would have been better if he had a scary face, but, you know, he doesn't. He's like Mr. Happy, um, and he's got a crow on his head. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? His bump code <clears throat> is this, dot, 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 under the uh, D-I, okay? So that's bump code number two. Next one up is another one of my favorites. <clears throat> the Pretzel Girl. Pretzel Girl has four bumps. Four bump codes. And that's right there as you can see. One, two, three, four. Okay. And here she is. Now she's really cool because she's got a, f a fabric little um, skirt as you can see all right she's holding a pretzel she's got little pigtails super cute and another awesome minifig i gotta say series 11 pretty awesome a lot of like accessories very elaborate so if you like minifigures go get some this is uh the evil mech as you can see he's right there he's got a he's a cyborg now this is where it's kind of weird so let me um just for reference okay the top one is the scarecrow the bottom one is the uh evil mech as you can see they're very similar okay so if you're looking for the evil mech Evil Mac is on the bottom. Scarecrow is on the top. So keep that in mind. Very subtle differences. Um, not all of these are 100%, so please don't hold me uh, accountable for, uh, for anything. Uh, these are just for reference for this batch, which is, I guess, the first run. So these might change. 
So, like I said, uh, I'm, I'm, unfortunately, I'm not responsible. If you don't get the right figure, I'm so sorry. Don't hate me. But he's very cool. And that's the evil mech. Let's go to the next one. This next one is one of my favorites. He is the Tiki guy. And check this guy out. So, this is his bump code. He's got three. One, two, and then third. So... Memorize that bump code. Alright. And this is the Tiki guy. He is really, really awesome. This mask is like soft and like kind of rubbery. He's got that. Not only that, he's got a hairdo with a little bone. Chilling on the top. So, he's a very cool, very cool Tiki guy. I like this guy. <laughs> I'm probably going to get more of him. Um, <clears throat> so that's that. Next one up is the gingerbread guy or gingerbread man. Um, you can't figure this out. This guy is awesome only because he's unique. They, they totally did a different like, uh, thing for him. Not only that, his mug says dunk me. <laughs> you can't go wrong with this guy. His bump code is this. Okay. Dot dot and then two spaced. So four dots if you can see it. All right. Uh, next one up is the elf. Now elf is pretty awesome. So not only do you get a gift, you get a present, right? So put that down. But you get the elf. He's got short legs so he doesn't bend. But then you get a little teddy bear. And that's the cool, cool little thing. So this is your setup right here. It's coming. It's like Christmas time and you get double presents. Very cool. His bump code is this. Now, like I said... You got to be careful because I'm going to show you something on top. <laughs> this is where uh, it's kind of weird. This one is, uh, the top one is the gingerbread man. It's very, very similar. Bottom one is the elf. So pay, pay special attention, okay? It's almost exactly the same. I think Elf is uh, closer to the sea. And Gingerbread Man is closer to the uh, lower part of that. So um, maybe they're trying to sneak up, like be sneaky about their bump codes. But this is what I found for you so far. Here's the bump code for the Yeti. And that's the Yeti right there. Three bump codes. He's very cool. He's a Yeti with a blue popsicle. So, I don't know um, about you, but I love this guy. So, I bought a few of them. Oops, sorry, popsicle. Um, the interesting thing about him is his head is one piece, so... No articulation on the head, but very cool. Alright, and his bump code once more is that. Okay. Um, next one up is, this is one of the more common ones, and he is the Rock Climber. That is his bump code. I don't know if you guys are really that excited about the Rock Climber, but that's his bump code. Boom, and boom, boom, boom. So, three bump codes. And here he is. He's got a pickaxe and rope. And he's very cool. His helmet even has vent holes, so his head won't sweat too much. So, I just wanted to show you that. Pretty cool. Alright. And then, another cool one that we got this time around is the welder. His bump code is that. Three bump codes, one, two, three. 
So you see one, two, and three. And here he is. He is actually very cool. Has a tank and everything, plus a hose. You pull off his helmet. He's all beat up and battered and dirty. Put his helmet back on. He can weld whatever you want together. So, that's that. Uh, okay, the next one, which is probably one of the more important ones. Um, first off, here's the bump codes. Bump code is one. It goes one, two, and three. Okay. Now, the reason this is so important is because in the history of LEGO, this is the first time that they had a woman scientist. And that's right. She is a woman and she is a scientist. However, if you notice, there's no pink colors or anything like that that makes it all girly. This is a scientist. She's serious about her uh, concoctions. And that's it. If you Google Lego scientist or female scientist, you'll see there's a lot of media about this. Um, they're very, 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 very stoked that Lego decided to uh, show that women can be anything in the world. And that includes being amazing scientists. So, if you want one of these girls, there's your bump codes. Now, I don't know how collectible these are going to be. I like to think that maybe it will be a bit collectible because, like I said, it's a bit of a historic um, change in uh, Lego. So, let's put that down. Next up, we have the saxophone player. He's like Dan Aykroyd from the Blues Brothers. Most of you guys won't even know who that is, but um, here he is. So He's like a man in black. Very cool. His bump code is 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. All right. Next one up is a very cool one. It's a like a she's she's pretty awesome. Uh, first, let me give you her bump codes. I believe actually. Hold on. See, this one is tricky. Okay, don't quote me on this one, but this might only be two, so it might be boom boom, and that's the skate uh, the diner diner waitress. She's kind of like a. Um, Roller skater uh, waitress, if you can see her little skates, she's got her little um, tray. And let's see if I can do this without it falling over. A very high strawberry milkshake that she balances on her tray. Pretty awesome. All right. This, like I said, don't quote me on this, right there, just two on the right, and that would be my right. So, let's put her back down, put the milk or the strawberry sundae up. Next one up is the crazy crap, the <laughs> crazy crap, the crazy cat lady, and that's the grandma, okay? Grandma is two bump codes as well. And that is one under the C and one all the way to the left. Okay. She's pretty cool too. She's got a lot of accessories. She's got a basket, which is soft, rubber. She's got a cat. Meow. And here's Grandma. Very cool. Like I said, they kind of went all out with uh, Series 11. A bunch of accessories and all that other good stuff. So, La normally... Uh, by the way, normally, the constable is next. But I uh, did not grab one of him, and I thought I did, but I didn't. So, there you go. Um, and the last but not least is the girl robot. Lady robot, actually. 
And that is the bump code for Lady Robot. Very cool. And here she is. And she's all done up in that gaudy, uh, girly makeup stuff. But the cool thing is, check this out. She's got a key that she can turn and make her, like, wake up. Pretty cool, huh? Anyways, there you have it. The, um, I guess the complete, semi-complete collection of Lego minifigures. If you have any questions about bump codes or whatnot, please leave me those questions and comments down below. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe if you haven't already. And please give me a thumbs up. Also, share this to all your LEGO collecting friends because the more people that see this, the more um, they'll be able to figure out what they want. Um, so anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like what you saw. And I will see you soon for another uh, Mushroom video. Take care. Bye-bye.